have you been out there looking for a house and maybe last year your plans to buy a house just stopped, right? You put those on pause. And are you wondering if maybe, are you gonna be able to be a homeowner, right? People are asking that question and wondering about that. Well, stay tuned because we have some good news for you if you're looking to buy a house. My name is Julie Spaulding. I sell real estate here in the Kansas City market with Better Homes and Gardens. And I have the pleasure today of bringing in Nikki Klein. And Thank tell you. us just a little bit about you. Sure. Hi, my name is Nikki. I work for Guild Mortgage here in Kansas City. I've worked at a few different mortgage companies and banks over the years, been in the business about 15 years, and have seen the cycle of rates go up and down quite a few times. I bought and sold a house. I actually am renting currently. So for all of of all of you out there that are renting, um, there is hope and there is faith. And I'm here to tell you that it 100% is a good time to buy a house. I'm currently looking myself and I'm, I'm not afraid of where the rates are right now. And there's, there's some reasons why, and we're going to get to that because we really do want to share some information that we think will help you possibly consider that it could potentially still be a great time right now, this month of February to look into the options of the different homes available and the different programs that can actually get you into a home with a lower interest rate than what you are seeing out there. Yes, exactly. So you don't want to leave, stick around. Um, so you mentioned rates, which that's mm -hmm. on a lot of people's mm -hmm. minds, right? We're, we're hearing it in the news. We hear it from our friends and our parents. If, if they know it all that you want to try to buy a house, the first thing they start talking about, right, are rates. So or inflation. Or inflation, inflation is right. the buzzword right now. <laughs> so <laughs> tell us a little bit about rates and what you're seeing out there in the mortgage business. Yes. And what I try to do is I try to stay very informed. I think it's important right now to kind of weed through the headlines and the buzzwords and the fear. It's, it's a true legitimate concern of where the economy is going. However, I do feel much better um, now that the new year has started. Um, we saw the peak of the highest interest rates actually about 12 weeks ago, we were around 7%. In December, we, on a national average, we were at 6.3%, 6.38. .3 and, and it seems like mortgage applications, I read that, right? I think mortgage applications are up too, yes, quite a bit. mortgage applications actually. are up quite a, quite a bit nationally. Yeah. Um, in January, the national interest rate for a 30-year fixed rate was around 62 and we're hovering right now in February at 6%. And I'm here to tell you guys, that really is a good rate. When I um, bought my first house, I bought it about 7% in 2006. And that was a phenomenal rate. We um, got a little spoiled, actually. We did. We got... was, you know, the lows that we saw in the twos and the threes, um, in my opinion, I don't think we're going to ever get back there. That was the first time the government had bought mortgage-backed securities. That's a whole other topic. One thing at the very end we're going to share is a very specific program called a 2-1 buy-down. And I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but I really want to make sure you listen to the end because for those of you that feel like you can't afford a home at 6% where rates are at right now, I'm going to show you how you can get into a home at 4%. And that is a huge difference in your monthly payment. It really is. Yeah. So we've talked just a little bit about rates. They are, they're coming down, they're which coming is down. great. Good news. And in addition to that, just why do you feel like it's a good time to buy? One of the biggest concerns is, um, do I have enough money for down payment? Yeah. I have to tell you, that's always been a concern for, especially first time home buyers. Um, and that's why I think it's important to work with someone that can educate you on the, all the different loan programs that are out there because the first time home buyer programs are better than they've ever been. Many people can get into a house for 0% right now, 100% loan. And the government loans, the FHA, the VA loans, especially FHA, you can get into a home for 3.5%. And you still can have um, seller paid fees, you can have lender paid closing costs, you can have gift money from relatives. So there's lots of options for as minimum down getting into a home. Obviously, the next thing might be um, you're concerned about the price of homes right now. Yes, we've seen this wonderful um, increase in home prices over the last year, but they've really leveled out. And as right. personally, I know because I'm looking for homes right now myself, I'm excited to see that many of the homes are sitting on the market longer and the sellers are getting a little anxious. The sellers really that have had their house on the market. They're, they're anxious to sell. Um, they're not sure you know, where values are going either. And they wanna move these homes. And so what that means is the sellers are going to be possibly 
willing to negotiate and offer seller concessions. Yeah, um, do yeah we're seeing a lot more of that. There's there are still quite a few buyers out there in the market, but we're definitely seeing sellers who, you know, we're bringing back the appraisals, we're bringing back the home inspections. Thank goodness, those were that was a little nerve wracking, and. Um, yeah, and sellers are offering, like you said, concessions, which whether it's helping with this 2-1 buy down or some seller paid closing costs, that kind of thing, sellers are are back to doing some negotiation. Now, if you're waiting out there for sales or for home prices to just dive down and make this huge reduction in price, for the most part, you're probably not going to see that. One, it's because we're in Kansas City. We don't fluctuate quite as much as you do on the on the outer edges. But one of the things that I think is important is that we're here to help you make a plan, right? So how would people get started if they're like, okay, I think I want to try to jump back in. I'm not sure. It sounds like maybe these rates are going to be pretty good. There's some good options. Like, what do I do? You know, what mm -hmm. do I do? Mm -hmm. And that's exactly it. What are your options? Um, I think there's probably, you know, three or four options right now if you're looking to buy a house. And the, the option that we're seeing right now, I think, is a lot of people are, they're looking for predictability and they are looking for someone who can help them figure out what do I do? And that's where Julie and I come into play here. Investing in a home is going to be your best catalyst for increasing wealth generating wealth over the long term and the process to start really is to find out how much you can afford to buy and and that means getting pre-approved um, it's a pretty easy simple process yeah. and we're going to provide a link here at the end that will give you the information to do that and it may just even start with a 30-minute phone call five-minute phone call just to answer basic questions for you on you know what do we need what kind of documentation to get qualified you know what does the process look like you know, how does credit score affect qualifying? Um, people who even, you know, don't have credit scores, that, that can be common. Someone may not have credit scores. They may have scores, you know, in That's the true. 600s. Um, those people as well can still qualify for buying a house. So yeah. it can be frustrating if you go out to look at homes and you find the house that you like. And there may be other people that are looking at that same house that are pre-approved. And it just, it's going to put you a little further ahead in the process. And it's going to um, look very good to those sellers when you walk into that home that you desire and say, guess what? I'm pre-approved. I'm ready to go and I can close in 30 days. It's, it's never a smart idea to go out and start looking for houses if you don't know exactly how much you are able to buy, right? You want to know what your price range is and getting that pre-approval, mm -hmm. knowing exactly where you are is really important when you're out there looking for that. For your home whether it's your first home or your second home or your third home it's just important to know what that's like and, and it's can, it's not a ton of work i mean no, you know no, originally honestly, we can do a pre-approval um we have such great technology and systems in place right now that we can verify income and ask the assets electronically once you give us permission um, we can come up with that information and, and pretty much put about 90% of the information together for you without you even having to provide one piece of paper. So you'd be yeah. surprised how um, far technology has come in terms of getting pre-approvals done quickly. I think and the other really important thing to note is, you know, we went through um, quite a situation last year where every home that was on the market, for the most part, had multiple, multiple offers. Right. Yeah. And that's another reason why it's a good time to buy right now is, is I don't think you're seeing that. You're not seeing as many homes mm -hmm. that, where you're competing against people that have all cash, that they're pay, you know paying cash for these homes. They're paying five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 over the asking price. Right. That's just not happening right now. It very well could happen again as the rates come down. They're already starting to come down and they're going to continue to come down as inflation subsides, the rates are going to come down. And as inflation comes down, more buyers enter into the market. Um, so it's all about supply and demand. So I think right now, exceptionally, February, March, um, perfect time to get out there and see if you can find that house that, that works for you and your family. Okay. So below, we, we said we were going to offer you something and we want to make sure that you know exactly what you're getting. Um, just tell us a little bit about what when they log in and, and what are we going to send them? So I have um, a presentation, it's called The Mortgage Coach, and I use it to show options. So if someone has a home that they want to purchase is 300000 I want to give them options on you know, different down payment scenarios and definitely different interest rate options. 
the most common program right now would be a one, two, or three year buy down. And what that means is we are finding the money. Um, many times that's from the seller. We do have a lender paid buy down. It's a one year buy down where we as the, the lender good, yeah. pays the buy down. Um, specifically, I think the two one buy down is great because we can ask the seller to um, contribute that money back into the purchase price. So the seller is still going to net the same thing that they would net. So if you're selling a home, it's a great yeah. option too. Um, but if the rate, rate is at 6% today, we're going to get you into that home the first year at 4%. It's going to be a huge savings for your monthly mm -hmm. payment, much more affordable for you. The second year, the rate is lowered by 1%. So first year, 4%, second year, 5%, third year back in that same 30 year fixed rate at 6%. Another beautiful thing is Guild offers a no cost refinance, which we are going to go through another refinance boom. And so if you can get into a home with a lender that's going to service your loan and keep it during this next two to three years, you can come back to us and refinance when the rates drop to that ideal rate that you're looking for at no cost to you. Yeah. And you guys hold all your own loans. We do. We, majority service, of we service 95% of our loans, yeah. um, which makes it very easy. Um, to come back and do a refinance, you can pull money out, do a home equity loan, um, you know, come back, we can get a loan for your daughter, your, your son, family yeah. loan, lots of options. Yeah, yeah, that's great. It's one of those things that I think people don't realize how important that is when you actually, when a mortgage company actually holds their own, their own loans. It is so, nice, it is nice. Yeah, a lot of perks for that. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for joining us. And we will come back with some more tips. I'm sure we'll have lots of great things yes, to share in the future. Some great <laughs> ideas on renting versus buying. I know a lot oh, of people are yeah. renting right now. I personally am. That's why I'm, I'm desperately, um, you know, out there looking at homes and trying to find the right one because the rental prices have increased tremendously. And again, it's, it's a good time to just see what you're qualified for. So let us help you. Let us help you get out of um, paying someone else money yeah. and, and get you into a home that will help you generate um, your wealth for the future. So I saw something or read something that said, what is the interest rate when you're renting? Well, it's 100%, right? 100% mm -hmm. of your money is going to someone else, not to you. So yeah, some people don't want to pay that much interest because it's not going towards them. But if you're renting, you're paying 100% interest. So let us know in the comments what you think about the 2-1 buy down, if you've heard of that, if you want some more information on that, or if you're a renter and you want to kind of get some information on that, let us know too and we can send that out to you. All right. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you, Julie. Yeah. Remember, you deserve to love where you live. Love it. <laughs>